All right, folks, welcome back to our Firepower Platform Series. This video is going to be about unit resiliency in our design with Active Standby ASA and cluster of FTDs running NGIPS. As we talked about in our overview of this design, we have Active Standby ASAs hooked directly on the north side to our switches. And on the south side, we have these interconnects between the ASAs and FTDs. You can see dual attachment between the two. And from the FTDs, we have single attachment. This is the design that we have currently. You can improve the resiliency by doing dual attachment also on the bottom between the FTDs and the switches themselves. Here, we have our test host again, um, opening connections through the context one and context two, uh, host A to B and A to C. And we will be looking at resiliency of losing our active ASA path and also losing one of our FTDs that's in a cluster that's an active active path that we have there. So let's take a look at our setup here. On ASA side, we have active standby unit, all interfaces monitored. On the FTD side, we have master-slave relationship here between the two FTDs. And if we take a look at our test connections that we have in place, uh, Context 1 currently has one UDP connection uh, monitored. Um, connectivity between the two hosts that you see there, uh, that's A and B. And I will also open another connection here to, c to have a TCP connection alive as well. If we switch over to Context 2, we also see a UDP connection in place. And we will open up a TCP connection, just the same, to have that monitored. So we have our test connections in place. Everything is being monitored. We can now proceed to test our setup. If we take a look at the switches here, we have all the port channels running and properly functioning. So at this point, our ASA is an active path, and we'll proceed to take out ASA. I will write all the configurations before I do that. And at this point, we will record um, losing our ASA. We can see that the crash dump is being written here and our ASA, backup ASA has kicked in. We had not seen much of a loss here and our connections are still alive here. our connections are still working through both FTDs. We will pause the video now um, for that ASA to come back. Or our unit had recovered and came back into the failover standby state. So now we have two ASAs again in active standby with all the ports monitored. We can proceed to take a look at the connections themselves on FTD and test losing one of the units in FTD. So here under FXOS we'll simply end up uh, power cycling that security engine. As we watch what is going on while we do that, we'll take a look at the show cluster info here, <clears throat> and we see that we lost that unit from the cluster that owned, uh, uh, it was basically the connection through the context two. 
Um, so this unit now owns all of the connections. If we take a look at that, so we can see all the connections basically owned through FTD1 now. We had rebooted FTD2. Test connections are, have all survived, and we can see that our top is working, and we had not lost any UDP packets here uh, during that transition. So that was a test with FTD. We're going to pause this video now while FTD unit comes back, joins the cluster, and we'll test one of the switches. All right, our FTD unit had come back up, and we are ready to make it join the cluster. It would attempt to do it on its own within the timers, but here I'm just going to enable the clustering on that unit and let it uh, sync the configuration to the master. And two units are now uh, in master-slave relationship. So at this point, we have all of our connections still working. And now we're ready to test switch failure. So what I am going to do now is I'm going to reboot the switch 2, which is single attached to FTD2. But I want to make sure that my FTD2 unit owns majority of my connections, which is actually the case. There's only one Y flag that I see there. So FTD1 is currently the master, and it has a backup on all the connections. In terms of ASAs, we still have our ASA2 as active unit with VPCs that lead, um, ports lead to both uh, FTD units in the cluster. So let's test that out as well. So we'll just go make sure that this switch has proper configuration saved. And we'll reboot it and see how our connections continue. There it is, switch two is rebooted we can see that FTD2 unit was disabled. FTD1 had become master. ASAs had not changed their roles. And if we take a look at our connections, our TCP connections are still working. And taking a look at our <clears throat> UDP, we see that we lost maybe one packet in terms of uh, here, three packets uh, in terms of UDP. So that concludes our series on uh, unit loss resiliency for our design with active standby ASA and FTD cluster of units uh, running as NGIPS. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.